why did I become a coordinator? I think this is an important subject because we really need uh, good coordinators and it's the reason that Aspect is so wonderful. I started out with Aspect as a host mom and so I kind of knew what I was going into. And then somebody, I offered one day to help and uh, my coordinator at the time said we would love you to help. I was kind of thinking of how can I help with the exchange students that are coming to my house. So what she was thinking is how can Donita help with the exchange students who still don't have a host family to come to. But she gave me a, a link to a website and I was able to see all of the great looking exchange students. So hard to even pick what exchange student you want to come to your family. And she said, Donita, help us find homes, good homes for these exchange students. And so, and I was hooked. I, I saw it and I was hooked. So I go on and I start looking um, at the different students. I look at the interests they have. I think of some families that I think would be perfect with this. Some families have hesitations about hosting and, and you have to kind of develop a story to help you with the families that have hesitations about hosting. And some families are like, you know what? I always want to do that. I don't know why no one's ever asked me before. Uh, there's a lot more with hesitations than there are that I'd always want to do that, but, uh, but they're there by numbers that they are all out there. And it's a great thing. So finding host families, hard. It's not as easy as it seems. When you have an easy one, it's the time to pat yourself on the back and say you're lucky. You had an easy time finding a host family. But when you're looking for a great host family, some things just don't come really easy. And you have to make a lot of phone calls. You have to network with the people that you know. You want to find a family that has some interest either in cultural exchange, an interest in some of the interests the student has, an interest just in opening their heart and their home and sharing with uh, with a student from another country. I think that America is really lucky. We're made up of so many diverse people, so many different religions, so many non-religions. We have different climates. We have different homes, different families, single families, married families, families with small children, old children, no children. And so it is a great place. And Americans are wonderful at helping people in need. They are great at stepping up at the plate when they know that there is somebody who needs their help. And so as you're looking for a host family, these are the kinds of things that you want to touch on. You also want to let them know that we want it to be a good year. We want it to be a good year for the student, a good year for the family. And so if they're hesitant with that, no one wants anyone to have a bad year. If they're hesitant with that, then we'll work that out. You're there to support them. They know that they've got the Aspect family behind them for support, and that might also help them to be less nervous about taking this leap and letting a stranger into their home uh, for the whole year, which won't take them long. Once that student arrives, they will find that it's a wonderful thing. It doesn't take long at all to feel like you're bonding with your student. Finding host families is difficult. And if you got into this and you thought it would be easy and everyone you knew would have that same passion for hosting an exper hosting experience or finding an, uh, or having an exchange at home, then you're wrong. It's the wrong place for you. You have to be doing this because you believe in world peace. You have to believe that this is the job that's going to make a difference. So you want to be doing it and have it something that comes from your heart and it's got to be something that you have an interest in teenagers. You yourself should have an interest in cultural exchange and, and learning things about other countries and listening to different people's opinions and recognizing that your host families are going to be a big diverse group and your students are going to be a big diverse group. And if those are the kinds of things, if learning is your thing and helping people and thinking of world peace is something that is your thing, this is the place for you. And you are the kind of coordinator that Aspect wants and needs to make this program successful. These students need a person like you. All right, so you've signed up, you're trying to be a coordinator, you're finding that uh, looking for host families is difficult, that it's not as easy as you thought, and all I wanna say is don't give up. It really does happen. Keep looking, talk to your uh, trainer, talk to your regional director or your regional manager or your field manager, whatever you have, you wanna be talking to these people to find out how to get those um, fine host families that are great host families for our students. And I promise you that the hard work that you put in to find a host family will be paid off. When your family starts emailing with that student before they come, there is a great anticipation and joy. It's, it's, it's almost like an adoption of an older child. One year I even sent out to my host families before our host family orientation a little card that says, it's a boy, and I put the exchange student's name on it, or it's a girl, and I put the exchange student's name on it, and, and I looked off of the 
the student's application and put their height and weight down just like a birth announcement. And those families became so excited to have those kids. Now teenagers are teenagers, so you can't think I'm going to have the most perfect year and the most perfect students because you're not perfect. No exchange student is perfect. But that great part, it, it really pays off. You've found those host families. You worked really hard. Um, it gets easier as the years go on, as you build up some families, as you get more confident in your skills and how to find host families. Uh, now you've got your kids. You've got your host families excited for the it's a boy, it's a girl. You've got your students arriving. They come in the fall and they're really nervous too. They don't know this new mom and dad. They don't know the schools. They haven't adjusted to the culture and you have a great year. You know, you help them through that. You are there to guide and nurture them through that. You give them as much attention as they want or you step back and don't give them um, too much either because you, you've got a whole new family created there. And then you're there to support that student. You have the orientations, all that information is available to you online at the Aspect Foundation website when you log in as a coordinator that will help you through your year. Now that I've been doing this for nine years, um, it's a great thing. I have uh, hosted many students. I have students from my first years that are old enough now to be getting married um, and I get wedding announcements for them. I've got college graduates. You know one year the whole thing will just bust open with all of these great students. I get emails. I get cards at Christmas time. There is a true joy of the fact that you are doing a good thing and that you are creating peace um, and understanding amongst the youth, amongst the future of our world and that is what you want to do and that is the benefit of why you've signed up to be a coordinator with this program.